play here at the Monroe Art Field. And uh, I have 1920s, 1930s, 1940s, and 1950s. And also, um, a friend of mine, Matthew Pepe, who designed this computer program right here, which has interactive um, uh, music and historical broadcast for each of the areas that are being displayed. And the uh, cabinet was built uh, here in Monroe by uh, Mr. J.W. and Custom Cabinets by Design. About two months to build, and uh, we've got lighting in it, a uh, full sound system, and uh, that's glass in the front. And uh, plaques made here locally by uh, Accolades from the Red. And um, so I'll go over some of the radios that are in it. Um, this one right here is a 1927 Outwater Kent Model 44. Um, this is a 1932 Philco, or 1933, not exactly sure on the model. Um, this is a battery powered Crosley Tombstone. Both of these were borrowed from Jet Butler and uh, Mark Palmkiss, so I, I appreciate them for help letting me borrow those. Um, this here is a Philco. It's one of the earliest radios that had FM on it. Um, this is a Westinghouse, and that's a Wards Airline. Uh, this is a Zenith Royal 500. That is a Philco 51-532 that my dad and I have painted with car paint. Uh, this is a Grundig model 3028, made in West Germany in 1956. And that is a Philco T7 from 1956. And, uh, so I'll go over some of the uh, features of the program. It features a, uh, a dial for my Fairbanks Morse radio from the 30s, I think. So I'll go here to the uh, 1930s. Then we go with this era here. And uh, play some Moonlight Serenade by Glenn Miller, which he first wrote in 1938. speaker sound system was built into the back and um, all, all that came from um, the thrift store in uh, Loganville, fish thrift store. I've also got, um, in the 40s here, I have some World War II broadcasts. Um, let's see, here's one when Pearl Harbor first happened. What's interesting about this one is it, it's, it interrupted a music broadcast. Okay, so here's the atomic bomb. Tokyo admits extensive damage caused by the atomic bomb at Hiroshima. New air attacks have been thrown against Japan. Washington and other allied capitals are buzzing with speculation about the new bomb and its possibilities. Now here's Alan Jackson with the CBS feature, News of the World. I mean, I have some uh, well-known 50s music. House Rock, everyone knows this one. So what's really cool about this is you can hear the broadcast stuff that played when these radios were new. And if I can take the camera from Mom, I'll show, show you guys the back here. Right. You can see back here, there's all the electronics and stuff that powers this thing. You've got a, a flat screen monitor, a gateway computer, um, a set of Sony speakers, and a Bose a little mid-range speakers. And over here, on this side, is the amplifier. It is a, um, I think it's a Sony. And, uh, so thanks for watching. <laughs>